Michael Akobi, Pound for Pound TV here. Like many of you, I also watched the uh, Todd Batebiev and Dmitry Bivol fight earlier today. Uh, a lot of people are saying it's a controversial decision. Um, my official pick was for Bivol uh, to win on points. Uh, a lot of people were saying Batebiev would win and that would be by knockout. Well, the fight went the distance and it did go to points and Batebiev got the nod. I think a draw probably would have been fair. Maybe, I don't know. I, I think personally Bivol did enough to win. I think he got a lot of those early rounds, um, some middle rounds and some rounds in a late, late stage of the fight. I don't recall exactly which rounds. I'll have to look back at the fight. Uh, I know Bivol faded somewhere in the, in the middle part of the fight. And I think that's what worked against him. Uh, there's not a lot being said or not enough discussion about how well Bivol was able to get himself out of trouble. Um, circling away, it wasn't just fighting on the back foot, it was, it was circling away out of trouble, um, keeping the jab out there, the one-two to keep uh, Better Bev at bay. Um, obviously, Better Bev didn't have it all his way, and that was due because uh, that was due to Bivol's uh, counter-punching and also Bivol's aggression. He showed aggression. He showed that he was willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and trade as well. And um, that was a little bit about that game plan that I was talking about before the fight, that we would see that from Bivol. Um, I think Bivol did enough to get it, but of course I would be biased because I did pick him to win uh, before the fight. Love to see a rematch. A rematch has to happen. I think what worked against Bivol is, yes, the uh, the lack of activity, um, but I think what, and remember judging is subjective, but I think what it is, is how dramatic the change in activity was from Bivol that may have swayed uh, the judges, because as I understand it, I think Bivol landed more shots, I've heard in the stats, I haven't really dissected and analysed it, but from my understanding is, to me it looked like Bivol landed more of the, uh, uh, more clean shots than Beterbiev. Um, Beterbiev probably, his shots, some of his heavier shots had more impact on Bivol, more noticeable impact, I think you can say that. But I think the cleaner shots were landing from Bivol. Uh, and I think he landed more, more of them. However, his activity, the change in activity from being so active in those early stages to dropping the activity in the middle part of the fight and some parts towards the back end of the fight, I think that's what may have worked against uh, Bivol and swayed the judges. It was the dramatic change in activity. So anyway, look, congratulations to Todd Beterbiev. Um, I guess a, a small vor a moral victory for Bivol is that uh, he wasn't stopped. That's the first fight that Beterbiev has been involved in in his professional career that didn't result in him stopping someone. So that's a small victory uh, for Bivol. Not that it means much. You can see he's absolutely he's gutted. And uh, he wants the rematch. I think the fan, everyone, the fans want the rematch. Everyone wants the rematch. So we have to see that again. We have to see that again. Uh, all in all, great fight. Great card. Uh, we see uh, Jai Abitaya do what he does best. Um, he's just so consistent. Um, Sky Nicholson, amazing uh, continuation of her winning streak. She really is dominating um, that division. So, yeah, great event. Uh, let's see it again. Adios.